Shalom family, this is your Captain Ainar from the Light of Zion presented to you the Lord's Passover on April 21st, Sunday at 7 p.m. in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The Passover dues are $200 for a family of four. Any additional persons will be $25 for each individual. For couples, it's $150. That means you and your ribs. For individuals, it's $100. And children under seven years old will be free. If you have any questions, our contact information will be in the description box. Like it says in Exodus 23.15, none shall appear before the Most High Yahweh empty. Let your light shine before men. Shalom and hallelujah. He told Pharaoh, let my people go. Let my people go. But Pharaoh hearted up his heart even more. When them players came, they pleaded it with Moses. You guys love everybody? I don't know, that's why you're gonna get him a flyer, right? Mr. Priest! Yeah, you guys, Jay! Oh, yeah, definitely check out that flyer. Do you, do you guys love check everybody? No, we don't love everybody. Why not? Because the Bible told us not to love everybody. Give me second every six before. Since, since you want to be saying, I'm gonna deal with you, Satan. Since you want to be saying, I'm gonna deal with you. Let's see what the Bible says. Let's see what the Bible says. Let's see what the Bible says, right? Since you want to have the spirit of Satan on you, right? You call read those that. Read that. Don't, no, read, yeah. God Stop. would never Look at call Ezra, people ugly. Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest, Lord of all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him come we all. Of him, we all come from Adam, right? Would you agree? Wait, hold, hold, no, 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 answer my question. Answer my question. Don't we all come from Adam, right? We all descend from Adam, right? You're asking me a question. Yes. Before, before he answered that, tell me who no, Adam no, is. No, 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 you gotta answer my question. Answer my question. Don't we all come from Adam? Hold Wasn't on. Adam the, the, the first man? Hold on, hold on. Before Adam, tell me who Adam is. Tell me who Adam is. So we all come from Adam. And, I don't even want to answer the question, but read on. And the people also uh -huh. whom thou hast chosen. Whom thou hast what? Has chosen. Who did, who, who was the chosen people of God? Mr. Satan, Mr. Satan, Satan, who was the chosen people of God? Who was the chosen people of God? Who Who was the chosen people of God? Mr. Satan, who was the chosen people of God? Oh, now, now, now you want to deal with the crowd, right? Who are the chosen people according to the Bible? Right. Who are the chosen you, you, people? You heard that, right? Not, not, not the Jewish. Not the Jewish. But the Jews. Give me, no, Isaiah 44. Isaiah 44. Let me show you what the chosen people of God is, right? The book of Isaiah chapter 44, verse 1. Uh -huh. Get now, get now here, O Jacob. My servant. Uh huh. And Israel. And who? And Israel. And who? And Israel. And Israel. Read on. Whom I have chosen. Who I what? Whom, Whom I have chosen. So the chosen people of God are the children of Israel, right? I'm not sure. I'll go back to Second Ezra. Go back to Second Ezra. We're gonna finish that, man. We're gonna finish that. Come on, come on, come on. And brother, brother G, brother G, G. Yeah. Okay. You still listening, right? So remember, the chosen people of God are the chosen of Israel. You're a chosen people, right? You're, you're part of that chosen people that the Bible is talking about. But let's, let's finish that out. Let's finish that out. Read on. Verse 55. Uh huh. And this, all this, I have I spoken before thee. Right. O Lord, uh -huh. because thou madest the world for our sake. For whose sake? For our sake. The white man? For our sake. Chinese man? For, for our sake. sake. The children of Israel's sakes he made the world for, right? Read on. As for the other people. As for the what? As, as for, for the, the other, other people. people. As for the other people, the people that are not chosen, as for those people, read on. Which also come of Adam. Which also come of Adam, read on. Thou hast said. What did he say? That, that they are nothing. They are what? They are nothing. They are what? They are nothing. All these other people are nothing. So why would I love somebody that's nothing in the eyes of God? Answer that question. Why would I love you? You're not even listening. I'm, I'm why would, why would I love somebody that's not that's nothing according to the eyes of God? God said everybody else that's not the chosen people are nothing. So why would I show love to them if God doesn't love them? Right? Hey, everybody should love everybody. What scripture says that? Prove it. Prove it. I will. I will. Look, 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 look at this sign. Was, was any of this love? Was any of this love? Was any of this on this sign love? Was any of this on this sign stop? Listen, listen to me. Was any of the things on this sign love? Proving the Bible would say love. That's what talking about. Say what you said before. I just read the scripture that says God says that everybody else that's not the children of Israel are nothing. Right? Prove it. So why would I love someone that's We just read it. Read it again. Read it again. Read it again. Read it again. Make sure you're listening. Make sure you're listening, Satan. Read, read it again. Oh, verse Wait, you, you, you put the All this that book have I spoken man, before thee, uh -huh. O oh Lord, uh -huh. because thou madest uh -huh. the world for our sake. Right. 
As for the other people. As for the other people, the people that are not chosen. Right, right read on. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. They also come from Adam, read on. Thou hast said uh -huh. that they are nothing. They are what? They nothing. Are nothing. They are what? They nothing. Are they are nothing. Read on. Come, come on. But be like unto spittle. But be like what? But be like, spittle. Spittle. But be like unto spittle. God is comparing all these other nations to but spit. I, but I, don't, right? I, don't, I don't believe that. What, what do you I, believe? I, I, what do you I, believe? I, I, I think you're reading from some crazy book that what do you doesn't believe exist. Then? What do you believe? You're not reading from the Bible. I didn't read, read it from the Bible. You're reading from some crazy book that doesn't exist. What are you talking about reading from the Bible? Isaiah 7, 14. But be like unto spittle, uh -huh. and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Unto a, yeah. God, that's God, that's God loves everybody. Yeah. What scripture every, says that? God, God what scripture loves says our God loves everybody? Why, why, why Where you? in the Bible does it say God loves everybody? Right. You know what? You, you can't even answer the question. Why you can't even answer the question. Back up, bro. Give me some space. Back up. Why? Why? Hey, 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 hey. You better get out of space, man. You better get out of space, man. You better get out of space. You see the spirit of Esau, man? You see the spirit of Esau? Why? 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 Chapter 40, verse 17. Bring it out. All nations. Before him, or as nothing, or as what, or as nothing, or as what, or as nothing, or as what, or as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing. Less than what? Less than nothing. Less than nothing, man. You're negative according to God, man. You're not, you're not even zero. You're negative. What scripture says that? What scripture in the Bible says everybody loves everybody? Was this was on, on the side? Was this love? But do you think everybody should love everybody? No, I don't. Why not? No, I don't. Why not? Has your people loved that people? Oh, why what's, your, what's your ethnicity? What's your nationality? It doesn't matter. No, I answer the question. What's your nationality? I'm not here in Hollywood. What is your nationality? Up space here. All right, I'm asking you questions. Right. Exactly. I have no reason exactly. to be here. You want to? You don't, you don't have a reason. You do have a reason though. Tell, tell, tell you have me, a you have tell, a purpose. Tell me why God shouldn't love everybody. Tell me why. Because that's tell because that's why. not what He said. God does not love everybody. Did you talk to Him? What do you mean did I talk to Him? This word is right here. I don't gotta did talk to Him. Write that book. This is the source right here. Did write that book? Yes, He did. So, yes, He did. Oh, you want me to show you? Let me show you. Get that Psalm 68 and 11 one more time. Yeah. Psalm 68 and 11 one more time, man. We're going to deal with you, Satan. We're going to deal with you. Right. We're going to deal with I, you. I, I just thought to entertain myself, and you guys only preach hate, which is not cool. Okay, the, the, Bible, the, Bible, the Bible says we can hate. The Bible says there's a time to hate. The Bible says there's a time to hate. The Bible says that there's a time to hate. All right, right, let me answer your first question. You said, you said, who wrote the Bible, right? Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 68, verse 11. Uh -huh. yeah. The Lord gave the word. Who gave the word? The Lord gave the word. Who gave the word? The Lord gave the word. The Lord gave the word. Read on. Great the was the company of those Who's that published it. Wait, read that again. Great was the, the great was the company of those that Who's published it. Great opinion? was the company of those that published Who's it, right? The, Lord the Most High God, the God who yeah. created heaven and earth. That's right. right. That's the God, and He's only the God of Israel. That's he's, right. not, he's not the God of you or anybody else. Information, which ain't cool. Who do you mean it's Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Prove me right. I've been proving you right. What are you talking about? Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. You can't prove nothing, man. Oh, you're all talk, man. You're all talk. This doesn't look like the Torah. What do you know about the Torah is in here? What do you know what the Torah is? What's the Torah? What's the Torah? Yeah, you just drunk, man. You're just, you're just looking for a good time out here in Hollywood Beach, man. You're just, look, you're just looking to mess with people, man. That's all you're doing. The book, the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. Bring it out. As it is written, uh -huh. Jacob have I love. What? Jacob have I love. Jacob have I love. Read on. But Esau. But who? But Esau. But who? But Esau. But Esau. Read on. Have I hated? Have I what? Have, have I, I hated? hated? Have I hated? But God loves everybody, right? That's what he said, right? But that's not what according to the Bible, man. And you see, this is what a lot of people have a misconception of, of the truth of this Bible, man. They go to the Christian church and they think that they're teaching them the truth, right? Come as you are. God loves everybody. God so loved the world, right? Not even knowing what that means, right? But that's not according to this Bible, man. That's, right. that's why our people, the so-called blacks, the Hispanics, and Native Americans, they need to wake up, man. That's right. They need to wake up to the truth of this Bible, man. This Bible is not for everybody. The truth of this Bible is not for everybody, man. But wait, there's more. That's crazy, right? Okay, okay, that's what's up. Oh, so let me, um, let me do the Romney 28, right? So what we're out here teaching is we're out here teaching that the so-called blacks the Hispanics, 
the Native American, that word, that word, that word, that word, bro, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? No, 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 no. Who are, who are, who are, who are the chosen people? Mark 4, 15. You just read, it was the chosen of Israel. It was the chosen of Israel. Define who? Who the children of Israel? So it's everybody. Okay, all right. That's no, sister, everybody. Sister, sister, sister. That's everybody. Sister, you got you don't have a definition of the chosen come back, people. Sister. Come back to this. Who are the chosen people? It's the children of Israel, man. Get out okay. of here, man. I thought you were okay. Why'd you come back, man? I thought you were out of here. Because I was Before, thinking about it. And you didn't define out of here, man. You, you, you didn't define the chosen night. people. You can have a good night. Who are the chosen you can have people? A good night. You can have a good night. You've been dismissed. Hold man. on. You walked away. Why are you coming back? Who are the chosen people? You've been dismissed. Have a good day. I, I know. I love this, man. It's not worth it. It's not I, 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 I don't know who you are, but don't say okay. See that, man? Who are the chosen people? That's what right there. That's what I'm saying. Who are, yes, You've been dismissed. You can have a good night. Who are the chosen people? Who are the chosen people? Your brother, come back. 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 Mark four. Spirit is taking us crazy. Mark four. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Okay, okay. Let's. Do, you want? You want to? Hold on. Come, come, come here, Satan. You want to help? Who are the chosen people? Chosen people. Give me Isaiah forty four one again. Bring it out. Isaiah forty four one again. Right. He said, "Who are the chosen people?" I, right. I, I, I want races and cultures of chosen people. What do you mean races and cultures. The children of Israel is a, is, a, is a chosen people. So what does that mean? What are you talking about? Be more specific. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans were the chosen people of God. That's right. Okay, and, and then they all came from Israel. The book of Isaiah, the book of Isaiah chapter 44, uh, 44 and verse one. Verse one. Uh -huh. yeah. Yet now, hear, O Jacob, my servant, uh -huh. and Israel, and who? And, and Israel, and Israel, read on. Whom I have chosen. Whom I what? Whom I have chosen. Chosen, chosen people chosen are the people? chosen people. Poor people, black people, white people, the black, chosen people. Hispanics. Who are the chosen people? You man. You just want to have the spirit of Satan on you, man. I've told you many times who the chosen people are. The so-called blacks, the Hispanics, the Native Americans are the chosen people of God. I love uh, okay. I love, so everybody love everybody. No. You, you well, just explained it. Hold, hold on, hold on. If we, we just told you that the children the, right, are the so-called blacks, the people that not, the How do you how do you come to everybody loves everybody? We just showed you in the Bible that everybody does not love everybody, right? right. Smoking. Nobody's smoking over here, man. We just showed you in the Bible that God does not love everybody. All right. So we smoke. We smoking you right now. We just showed you that God does not love everybody, right? God does love everybody. But who are the chosen people? Be more specific. Bro, how many times do you want me to read the scripture to you, man? You haven't given me. How many times do you want me to read the scripture to you? God, but God read it again. God read it again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 44, I, verse 1. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, no. Hold on, hold on, real. He said, first, God loves everybody, right? But right. now we say, oh, now God loves mostly everybody. What does that mean? I, 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 what does that mean? But I wonder who the chosen people are. Oh, who are the chosen people? The book of Isaiah, chapter 44. Verse one. Yet now, hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, and who, and Israel, and who, and Israel, and who, and Israel, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Who I did what? Whom I have chosen. For about the fifth, about the fifth time, the children of Israel are the chosen people of God. How many times you want me to read you the scripture, man? Would any of you guys go to Israel? We're gonna be we're gonna be in Israel. God is gonna put us back wait. in that land. When are you gonna go to Israel? That's oh, up to the yeah. most high God. Wait, why are you going now? Because we're gonna be in fourteen to one. Go to Israel. Go to Israel. Go to Israel. What is that gonna do? We don't want we'll show you when we're going to be in Israel, right? What's going to happen, right? Read that. The book, of Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. Read it For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob uh -huh. and will yet choose Israel. Again, God chose the people as Israel. Read on. And set them in their own land. And what? And, and set, set them in their own land. land. Most God is going to set the children of Israel in our own land, which Bring is Jerusalem, Israel. Read on. And the strangers. And the who? And, and the, the strangers. And everybody that's not the children of Israel. Read on. Shall be joined with them. So everybody else is going to be with us, right? Read on. And and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They shall do what? They, they shall, shall cleave, cleave to the house of Jacob. Y'all are going to cleave to the house of Jacob. Read on. And the people shall take them. Shall do what? Shall, shall take, take them. them. We're going to take all these other nations. Read on. And bring them to their place. And bring them to their place. Read on. And the house of Israel uh -huh. shall possess them. Shall do what? Shall, shall possess, possess them. them. We're going to possess all these other nations. They're going to be our possession. Right? Read on. In the land of the Lord. Uh huh. For servant. For what? For, for servant. servant. For servant slaves. Read on. And handmaid. And handmaids, right? And they shall take them captive. They shall do what? They, they shall, shall take, take them captive. We're going to take all these other nations captive, right? Whoa. 
Right, read on. Whose captains they were. Whose captains they were, because we were captains of everybody else, right? What, what, what does that mean? We just read. We're gonna. We just read when we're gonna be in Israel, man. You don't want to hear. You just want to be a Satan, man. You guys are trying to make money here. No, y'all trying to make money here. You just want to be Satan. You can go. You can have a good night, man. A few moments later. That where the Israelites are going scriptures. Right. Tie in what's going on in the land of Israel between the Jewish people, right? Mm -hmm. And the Palestinian people. Mm. Alright, that's what you okay. want to know. Okay. Um so let me, let me make sure I understand. You said a year. How what are how you say how or what what are we teaching ties into what's going on over there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, give me Isaiah, I think it's 60 and 18. 18. Yeah, oh, okay, the water, yeah, 18. Right, because yeah, this, 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 huh? Yeah, slow down on the mic. Huh? Because in the Bible it, it talks about when the children of Israel are gonna, are in Egypt, there's gonna be no there's gonna be all peace in the land, right? But we look at the, the, the land of Israel right now, there's there's a whole bunch of wars and a whole bunch of things going on there, right? So how could so how could those people how could those people be the children of Israel? But you know, there's all types of things going on in that land, right? So let me let me read this for you real quick. Yeah. Look at I the book of Isaiah, chapter 60 and verse 18. Uh-huh. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land. Read it again. Violence, Violence shall, shall no more be heard in thy land. So this is a, this, Isaiah 60, this is uh, talking about the kingdom. So when the children of Israel are in the kingdom, it says violence is going to be no more in the land, right? we we'll finish it out, read on. Uh -huh. Wait, wasting no destruction within thy borders, uh -huh. but thou shalt call thy walls salvation uh -huh. and thy gate praise right, so the point that's being made in here is that when the children of israel are in the land there's going to be no more violence right but we look in the land of israel right now there's a whole bunch of violence going on there right so how could they be the children of israel the the, the jewish people right but all that stuff is going on in that land that, that doesn't make any sense right right so that's how we know that those people in the land of israel right now are not the true jews right yes, so give me revelation 2 and 9 Revelation 2 and 9. We can build on that, right? Because what's your what's your ethnicity? What's your nationality? Uh, Barbados. From the Barbados? Yeah. Okay, your father's from the your, your family? My, my father. Your father's from the Barbados? From like, from like England. Okay. Okay, the Barbados. Isn't that, isn't that the eyes up, eyes up, eyes up. Isn't that Western? <laughs> Look at this guy, man. Oh my God. Bro. Listen. Oh my God. Listen. No, we're not dealing with you. We told you to have a good night, man. Why are you coming back? Because you're on my boardwalk. Why are you coming back? Because you're on boardwalk and you're in public access, so I can't. Why are you coming back, man? What, what, what else could you have to say? You, you want me to answer one more time? Oh my God. Man. I'm not dealing we're with you, on public, I'm not dealing with you. I'm going to deal with you. What, what's your oh, name, yeah, brother? Yeah, what's your name? Oh. Huh? Matthias. All right, Matthias. So, I'm going to show you that those people in Israel are not the children of Israel. Right? The book of Revelation. How do we enjoy everybody? How do we make everybody come together? The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. How do we make everybody I know by works and tribulation and poverty. But thou art rich. Look at this devil, man. Look at this devil. You, you see, this is the spirit of, 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 of Esau, of the white man, right? The white man, right? That's the spirit He's racist. Of him, right? That's racist. That's very racist. Huh? That's no, racist. Michael Parvison, right? Michael Parvison. Right? Listen. No, no, no. How, how, how do we make everybody get along and enjoy each other? Oh, okay. How, how do we get along back, and make no, each other? Go back to the other. Go back to the other. Go back to the Go back to the other. I got you. I got you. Give me revelation. To, don't don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Matthias, Matthias, don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Look at this guy. Don't listen to him. Don't 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 listen to him at all. Okay. Don't listen to me. Okay. Don't listen to him. That's the devil. He's the devil. Okay. He's the devil. The reason why we're suffering as a people is because of his people, right? But in order for us to be above and to be saved, we have to come back to the What are you doing, man? Get up out of here. I want to ask you a question. Get up out of here. Oh my God, bro. Get up out of here. Right, read, read, read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. But thou art Forget rich. Forget about the past. But thou art rich. But thou art rich, right? Matthias, we're rich. Well, why do because the kingdom of heaven is for us, right? It's for the so-called blacks. Let's make sure we all communicate together. Let's make sure we all communicate But thou art rich. Let's make a unity. And I know the blasphemy. Why doesn't he make a unity? The Ask him a question. Why don't we unite? Together as a country, everybody, as people, unite. Ask him. 
You don't have the answer, up, sir. Up, don't you tell me to back up, all right? You have no right to tell me to back up here. This is public area. I know. You have any right to back up here. I'm not fighting with anybody. But I want to, if he's going to come out here and scream this nonsense, he has to make sure that he's. It's the Jewish people, right? They say that they're the Jews. So now you're a racist. You're a racist again. And are not. And are what? And are not. Those people in the land, they're not the real Israelites. Right. They're not the real Jews. Right, exactly, exactly. They're, they're not the real Jews, but it's because they're in that land, it's because of our disobedience to God, right? That's why all these other nations are, are above us, right? But in order for those roles to get reversed, we have to come back to this Bible. We have to go back to who we are, because you're not a, you know, you said you said in front of the Barbados, right? Isn't that, that's, that's West Indies, right? So, so look, look, look on this, so if you look at this sign, you'd be an Israelite from the tribe, you'd be an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. I know there's a lot, a lot of things going on. It's all good. Tell me why. Yeah, I want to. Oh yeah, yeah. He wants to claim something and then he doesn't want to tell me why. Look at there. You see Benjamin. Right? That's what you be. You be an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. That's what's your nationality, right? But in order for us to be to, to, to be protected, to be you know aligned with God, they have to keep this commandment, right? Because if I were to ask you, how do you love God? What would you say? How, how do you show God you love? Him? Okay. 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 That's, that's a lot of you know. A lot of people say that, right? But we we'll get the we, we get all the answers from the Bible, right? So give me first John five and three. First John five and three. Tell me why not respectful. Are you good? Tell me first John chapter five and verse three. Uh -huh. yeah. So this is the love of God. So this is the Bible is going to go into how we show God we love Him, right? You know that we keep His commandments. That we do what? That we keep His commandments. Right. So keeping God's commandments, that's how we show God that we love Him, right? Because wouldn't you agree that love is an action word, right? In order for me, like if, if I said I love you, right? But I'm stealing from you, I'm talking mess to, to no, I, don't, I don't love you, right? So it's not just by the words that I say, but it's about the actions that follow them, right? That's how we show God that we love him. But the actions that he requires from us is by keeping his commandments. That's how we show God that we love him. So how many commandments would you say that there are? In, or how many commandments do you know to your knowledge? Yeah, I mean, a lot of things people say that there's ten. They, you know, they say that there's ten commandments, but actually, in actuality, in totality, according to the Bible, there's over 613 commandments in the Bible, right? Yeah, you see that? Over 613 commandments, right? So let me show you some commandments that you may know that you can keep, right? So do you do you eat pork at all by any chance? Do you eat pork? You know? All right, we gotta deal with that. We gotta deal with that, right? The book of Leviticus, the book of Leviticus, chapter eleven and verse seven. And the swine. And the what? And the swine. And the swine. What's the what's the swine? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a pig. No, it's a pig. The pork. Uh, that that's that's the swine, right? So it says, and the swine. Read on. Though he divide the hook. And be cloven footed. Right. Yet he chewed not the cud. Right, meaning that the pig, you know, they don't regurgitate or digest their food. You know, you know how a cow is like a cycle, right? They eat their food, they, they throw it up, it's like a cycle, right? But the pig, they don't they don't digest their food, right? So because of that, read on. He is unclean to you. He is what? He is unclean to you. Right, so the pig, the pork, the pig, all that stuff is unclean to us, right? And you you have you have you seen like how a pig operates and how they move? They eat they'll eat anything. They'll eat uh, dead bodies. Daily, all kinds of garbage, right? That that's that was their purpose that God had them to do. It was to was to clean up all the you know the filth and the garbage of the earth, right? But think about it, all that stuff that they're eating, the nasty stuff they're eating, we're putting that into our bodies, right? Exactly. And our body is a holy temple of God. That's why we can't eat things that He tells us not to eat, right? But, but finish it up. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. So it says we can't eat the we can't eat the flesh, right? We can't eat the pork. We can't eat none of that stuff, right? Read on. And their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. Pork is unclean to us, right? So, you know, we just showed you that. How do we how do we love God again? How do we love God? Through action. Through action. What, what kind of action do we have to do? Right. That, there you go. All praises. So, showing God we love him is by keeping his commandments, right? So, if we're showing you here that God says we're not supposed to eat pork, would you be willing to stop eating pork for God? All praises. Get a brother in, man. All praises, right? That's what's up, right? And it's those little steps, right? Because, you know, me, give me action. Give me Acts 17 and 30. This dude is crazy, man. Give me Acts 17 and 30. Acts 17 and 30. So I, because, you know, me as a person, don't, 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 don't pay attention to that, Matthias. Don't pay attention, man. It's all distraction. All distraction.
Look, like me as a person, you know, I, I've been knowing this for about four years. Before that, I was I was eating pork, right? So, but once I found out that God said that I was supposed to do that, then I stopped you, right? So I read that. So in Acts chapter 17 and verse 30, in the times of this ignorance, God winked at. So it says, the scripture says, at the time of this ignorance, God winked at. Meaning that God didn't, you know, God... So, Matthias, Matthias, right here, right here. So, I know there's a lot of things going on, man. But, so, it says that, read, read it one more time. And, and the times of this ignorance, God winked at. God winked at. So, he says that the times that you, you were ignorant, because before you came up here, you didn't know that God said you can't eat pork, right? So, he winked at that, right? He didn't pay no mind to you not knowing it, right? But read on. But now, oh, right? what? but now, it says, but now, now that you know, I read you out of the Bible that you're not supposed to eat pork. Now that you know that, read on. Commanded all men everywhere to repent. So now you gotta repent, and now you gotta, you gotta, you gotta work on, you know, these things that you did that you didn't know before, right? So that that's the, the steps that we have to take. We have to take those steps, right? Because there's more commandments that I can go into, right? There's a lot of there's a lot of commandments in the Bible, right? But in order for us, in order for us to to, to be, you know, aligned with God, to love God, we have to keep His commandments. We have to keep His commandments. This is crazy. Look at Esau, man. Look at Esau. Look at the white man. Look at Esau, man. Look at Esau. You see, you see, Matthias, this is why these other nations, these other races, they have to pay for it. Tell me why we can't love everybody. Tell me why we can't love everybody. all their spirits, right? It's not just him. All these other races, these other nations, they, they have that same spirit in them, right? Why are, no love, right? why, are no love, right? why are you here? 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 It was not written for him. God is not dealing with him. The reason that they're racist over us as a nation of people is because of our disobedience to God. But we have to be obedient to God in order for in order for us in order for us to rule people like him. Right? So I, I don't want to take too much of your time. Do you have any questions or anything like that? How do I like So our our our, our congregation we're the light of Zion, right? So we have a school, I don't know um, on the other side. At the top, this is our address, 2937. So we have a school and a congregation that we that we um that we gather together through, right? So if you have any time, you know, if you also if you have your phone, you can you can scan this, this barcode right there. It'll take you to our YouTube and our Instagram. So we, we have you know we post videos and content and everything like that, and everything like that, right? So uh huh. Why are you in my space? Of course, man. No, no, no problem, guys. No problem, man. But be safe, man. Be safe. Gotta move in the spirit. Gotta move in the spirit.